Hello and welcome to this tutorial in the A10. Today we'll be looking at the A9 Sidewinder air-to-air -air missile. Yeah, it looks like a flight of F-15s are about to make a pass, so I'll just hold here for a moment before requesting takeoff clearance. There they go. Gauge is holding steady, wheel bake released, and we are rolling. Gear coming in. And flaps to zero degrees. Okay, so far in this series of tutorials, we've looked at the Avenger Cannon and Hydra rockets. We've also looked at Maverick missiles and bombs. Today we're going to look at the least used weapon in the A-10's arsenal, the Sidewinder missile. The A-9 is a heat-seeking, short-range, air-to-air missile usually carried on fighter aircraft. The first thing I must stress is that the A-10 is not an air-to-air -air platform, and we should never go looking for a dogfight. We have two Sidewinders on board purely for self-defence and to engage targets of opportunity. You will rarely ever need to fire one, but it's important to know how to, should you ever find yourself in this situation. When we engage an air target, things happen pretty quickly, so I'll talk about what to expect en route to the target zone. Firstly, we'll bring up air-to-air -air mode with the 6 key. That growl you hear is the Sidewinder missile seeker head looking for a target. The circular reticule in the centre of the hood represents what the missile is looking at. The A-10 does not have an onboard radar, and so the only way of locking onto a target is with the missile itself. We manoeuvre the seeker reticule over the target and it will lock on. We must then keep the target within an area no bigger than twice the size of the reticule or the lock will be lost and we will have to reacquire it. Targeting an air target in the A-10 is no easy feat. Once in range, a launch authorization tone will sound and the seeker reticule will flash. Launching the missile is then a simple matter of pressing the fire weapon key. You'll see it all in action shortly. Let's drop down to the deck here. One, to avoid radar detection, and two, because spotting aircraft is easier when they are silhouetted against the sky, and we need all the help we can get to locate and ID it. The mission we're flying actually recreates a mission I flew in lock-on, in which I was tasked to destroy a column of APCs, Upon arriving at the target area, I noticed two hind gunships supporting the column. Fortunately, it was flying low and got the drop on them as they manoeuvred to engage me. My wingman took out the second, and we managed to add an air kill each to our total. Today we've got it much easier. There is only one helicopter, and it's troop transport, so it won't be shooting at us. Secondly, the column is undefended, so we won't have sounds to worry about. Looks like there's some power cables ahead. Do we fly under or over? Silly question. Ah, there's that flight of F-15s again on the radar warning receiver. 
we'll be looking at the radar warning receiver in the next tutorial. Okay, we're coming up on the first waypoint, which marks the road the column is moving along. So I've made a right turn, and I'll follow it until we find the column, and hopefully the helicopter supporting it. Okay, nothing yet. Looks as though the road is about to make a right turn, so we'll stick with it. Ah, I think I see something uh, silhouetted against the sky there. And there's the column below. Yeah, that's definitely it. I've coiled up air to air with the 6 key, and now I'll move the seeker reticle over the target. Notice how the growl becomes much more high pitched as the missile focuses all of its energy on that one target. Now we must keep it locked by holding it there. Launch tone, Fox 2. Fire with the enter key. Direct hit. Yep, he's going down. Splash one helicopter. Okay, let's head for home. A quick recap. You should rarely ever have to fire a Sidewinder missile in the A-10, but on the occasion that you do, it's a case of locating and IDing a target, entering air-to-air -air mode and holding the seeker reticule over it until you acquire a lock. When the reticule flashes and you get a launch tone, it's a simple case of hitting the fire key to launch. And that concludes this tutorial on Sidewinder missiles. The next tutorial will be on the Radar Warning Receiver, or RA. If you'd like to join me on that tutorial, I'll leave a link in the description box below. Thank you, it's been my pleasure.